Yeah, we don't need to go through the... Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Abduction. Oh, yeah. We lost... Uh, uh, there was a little trouble saving last time, so we're a little bit back. Well, no, but we were just going through that to see that we went through it, right? You said we had to go back through the teleporter anyway. Yeah. So let's just actually do that. Let's just take the teleporter Let's just make back. sure... Yeah, the tree's on. Okay. So, yeah. So we can just... I should put this up. Maybe we should turn the volume down a little bit. Is it loud? I don't know. My voice, my own voice is echoing my ears a lot for some reason. There we go. Right. I don't know if these points exist in other words. Oh, this is going to take forever to so actually go over all of them. Yeah. Even though we can't access the rest of Hunrath, it still has to load it. Yeah. Yeah. So what were you saying? Um, we don't know if there are these swap points in the other worlds or not. You mean once the Murfag world? Yes. Yeah, maybe they destroyed them. If so, there are probably, like, other... If there are, there's probably more of the Mofeg world we could get to. Yes, that would be... That would be good, because this was disappointing. It wasn't... <laughs> I mean, disappointing, yes, that's one way of putting it. The entire world was destroyed. You'd think that if it was an explosion that large, the blast crater would have been bigger. Pretty small Maybe it's blast not just crater. an explosion. Yeah. Maybe well, it we did also don't know else. if the entire world was destroyed. Actually, no. Area. Looking, everything looked melted, so maybe it was more of an incendiary device. Yeah, I guess. You're excited exploring that purple world? Yeah, the thing that we can see through the barrier in Hoodrath. Yeah. So I think that's actually the real world, because we saw the re real Earth on right. the Mofang world. And not just that modern day Earth, by the looks of the, um, the roads. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, it's like, what what do they see on the outside of these barriers? I don't know, I see that Hunrath takes forever to load. Yes. Because you'd assume if it was anything suspicious, there'd be something else there. Yeah. Like, be inside a government facility or something. <laughs> Why, why is there just a white sheet of mole all over the human world? Hey. Okay, uh, so. Recording crash. Bandy again. Cam is having some issues where it keeps, like, cutting out in mid recording. Only seems to do it with this game, though. So it looks like they blocked this up and then decided to, like. And then tore it down again, the blockage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, originally they, they just blocked it up as a measure, then they realized that wouldn't be enough. Oh yeah, back to the... The this. maze. Do you remember the maze? 
the maze. Oh, you've blocked it out of your memory. This will be entertaining. You mean the, the thing that we're about to come up? Yes. Yeah, I remember that. So this is going to be oodles of fun. Uh, oh, it's loading. Yeah, because we're going into the other section of Fenrath. So, okay, seeing as there is, um, no entrance, or other way to get around, this first section is probably going to be very straightforward, but it's probably going to get more complicated. But just, uh... Well, but which way do we have to face it? That's the thing. Well, it's going to be straightforward because there's only one entrance that we can get into at the moment. And, wait, what's this? Oh no, this is more stuff. Oh, it's another door. Where does this go? Don't think we've been here before. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, this is just a shortcut. Okay. That's good. It was gonna be like, please don't take us somewhere where we have, we have to load the rest of Fenrath. Yeah. Because that, that would just be not good at all. We see, does this have multiple exits? Yes, yes it does. Okay, I guess it won't be as straightforward as I thought. I guess we're gonna have to go back to see which way we have to rotate it. And this is where the loading lag is really gonna be coming. At least it's just gonna be between the pocket dimension and the Velen world. Yes. Which is probably why they have this pocket dimension. I wouldn't give them that much credit. Why else do you think they have the pocket dimension? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to give them credit, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so... This lines up. Well, no, we're not in the sphere yet. This is the sphere, I think. Yep. And this no, is the sphere. I think this is another sphere, because this is the shape that, that Askia took. So let's look at everything from above. Okay. Okay, so that sphere, which sphere is it? Oh, this is how we do it. Uh, it is? So we have to figure out where we want to start from. Oh, it only goes in one direction. No, it's going back in the other direction. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is like... This is a massive headache puzzle. Okay, the, no, I think I got it. The problem is I cannot see the whole puzzle. That's a huge problem. Should we get a piece of paper and try to draw it? Um, wait. Okay, that side of the puzzle does not have an exit. So, that's, but there's four exits to the maze, I think. Um, unless that's not an exit. That's definitely an exit, but that goes nowhere. At least it, oh yeah, no, it, it goes like into the, bridge there. it goes into the portal. Um, it goes into the side of the world. Okay, so we'll have to pick one place. 
This is a puzzle for people with massive spatial awareness, which <laughs> I am not very bad at spatial awareness. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this. This needs to be rotated this oh, way. Oh, we didn't go and talk to CW. That was what we were going to do. No, I think we... Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, and... No, no. That's... That's not going to work. <sighs> so if I rotate it... No, because those two can't connect. <sighs> okay. So... No, because those two can't connect. How do we know they can't connect? Because it's a weird shape. The thing is, I'm wondering if there's like things underneath those parts, like this part here, like that it, there's a thing underneath it, or maybe there's not. So as a, as a theory, and then that would connect there. And okay, I th okay, I think I at least know how to get to one place. So I'd have to rotate that somehow. One this way. This is like space panel level. I don't know, but this is. I actually... really don't like this puzzle because of how involved it is to like test to move around. Yes. I find it less objectionable than the space panel though, because at least it's clear what we're supposed to be doing. Even we didn't even annoying. need to do the space panel though. Maybe we do, I don't know. Or maybe the big obnoxious puzzle in that world is going to be the one where we have to rotate the egg in the other one. No, world. yes, that's what I think it's going to be. And that's also, I think that's also a lock to protect the uh, leaders. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I have no idea how you did that. Did uh, what? Figured out that that was the way you needed to rotate it. I didn't, I'm guessing. Okay. So you're thinking we're just gonna brute force this entire thing. No! This one's more esoteric because of the odd shape at the top. And it's harder for me to wrap my head around it. With just the right angle ones, I think it's easier. Seriously, if this was instantaneous... Well, and you didn't have to run so far and go up and down all the elevators. Like, they, they could have designed this puzzle much better. I do like that the puzzle somewhat encourages you to get a good grasp of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Like, to... But this is the kind of puzzle where you need to test it out a few times before you do. You can really get a good grasp of it. Right, but I mean, like they having should... it be really involved, you have to go to these different, like, you have to look at it from above or whatever is one thing. But no, bus. Okay, I think it needs two more rotations, though. Um, it seems like there could have been a way that we built this. Or that they built this such that it did not involve teleporters and as much, like, elevator things. Yeah. They should have at least given us a practice version of this kind of puzzle. 
before jumping us into this really involved one. This is not the witness. They they don't mess around with that shit. No, they they did they did some they did some good like training with some of the other puzzles. Like what? Like those series of locks stuff. were like training us about how the how the locks work. So, did I press the top button or the bottom button? Actually, I don't think it matters because it needs two rotations, so in either direction it'll be the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, wait. No, that's, that's not right, I think. No. No. I... I'm very confused. But... This stairway just goes nowhere. It's there to it's there to trick you while you're trying to find your way in the dark. Yep. More, more locking system. Can you pass me my Theracane, please? Actually, maybe that's why it's so dark, because the Mofang can't see well or something? And this stuff is lit with blue light, which apparently they can't see blue or something. Well. Did, it, did, did that look like a 90 degree turn? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll look at this. Yes. I guess it was. Yep, that's a 90 degree turn. It looked like it was much more than a 90 degree turn, but... Well, I hope they all make 90 degree turns, but I think we might get more advanced ones later that have other degrees of rotation or something annoying like that. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. And by fun, I mean viewers are going to have to deal with watching these loading screens a lot. Oh, what's the pause key, by the way? The pause key? Yeah. Oh, I think it up to set it up to be Shift F N F eleven. But maybe I didn't set it up. Or something. Right, well, let's test that out at some point when we're not in the middle of recording. Yeah, in case it like does something else. Oh, no. That didn't do what it was supposed to do? No. I am confused. It looks like one more uh, counterclockwise rotation would do it, but... So up or down? Well, I mean, that's one of the first things to figure out is which way goes clockwise and which way goes counterclockwise. Or as you weird Australians say, anti-clockwise. What do you say? Counterclockwise. What's wrong with anti-clockwise? It's really weird. We don't say that in America. Uh, we are about out of time. So... <clears throat> See, I can have the whole thing wrong. I'm not sure that this can actually line up to that one. This is why it's really, really annoying. Are you even sure that you're rotating the right one? I mean... No, I know I'm rotating the right one. I have to get this to line up. But I don't know if it can line up because it's a weird shape. If they just... Ugh. I think I think I can get the, the right angle ones, but these weird... But we have to start with this one because this is like the first one. No, this isn't the first one. I already fixed up the first one. Wait, so these are different? How do you set which one you rotate over? Are there different ones of these down here? Uh, you... Which one you can access, you set by rotating the whole thing. Okay. Okay, well, bye everyone.